see here. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Okie dokie. Popping out my chat. I wish I could hear y'all talking. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, let me go to the top because I had some people hanging out. Uh, hi, Vicky. Y'all want me to say y'all whole name? Because <laughs> I might have like a lot of Vickies. Y'all, my nose is itching. Why is that? Why is all this stuff happening like two seconds before I'm coming online? Um, okay, I'm just gonna go down the line. Hey, Vicki Johnson and Ilba's here. Morning Dove 204. I don't think I've seen your name before. Hello, Morning Dove 204. Hi, Lauren Moore and Melinda Martin. Angela Stutinger is here. Ooh, say so. Becca's here. Becca, you're here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you saw me lurking okay <laughs> um oh my goodness roxana is here from the recovery bed that doesn't sound good um let's see laura veach is here oop jelly bean is here <laughs> mj is here from steamy texas that don't sound fun either. Um, <laughs> where am I at? Do, 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 do. Hi, Brenda Bixler. And Loretta's here. Um, Jellybean, what are you doing, baby? What are you doing? He's digging for gold. I have no idea. I hope everybody's okay with how I look because apparently I should have put makeup on. This is according to Mr. Jimbo. Wanted to know how come I wasn't putting on makeup. Squeeze me? <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. We have uh, Rachel Forbes is here. Cindy Yates is here. Sandy Castleberry. Jennifer Jungles. Oops, watch out for this little thing, baby. Um... Yes, I've been seeing the post from Ned. I'm so excited. Um, hi, Nita. Nita's here. Clara Jones is here. Cindy's here. Karen is here from Victoria, Australia. Awesome. Uh, Cindy's here. <laughs> she says I'm a pepper, too. <laughs> Shh. <laughs> um... Pauline Slyman is here. Elisa's here. Nancy's here. Paula Sizemore is here. Oops, it just popped down. I hate when it does that. Um, where is it? Where did I go? Oh, here we go. Okay, Paula Sizemore. Um, Donna Parrish is here. Stacy Fallon is here. Alicia Bilger is here from New Jersey. Bettina Fink is here. Hi, Wendy Huber. Uh, Jackie A is here from Guam. Roberta is here. Roberta, you know who you are, sweetheart. I'm not going to try your name again. <laughs> I know I try it every time, and maybe I've gotten it right sometimes. I don't know. Um, hi, Carlene. And Jamie Tews is here from Michigan. Heather Grintz is here. And Jennifer Smith is here. Um, Jewel is here. It's not 8 Pacific. No. It's 8. Did I put Pacific? I have no idea. I probably put Pacific. Y'all, I have lived in so many time zones. I don't even know what I put down. I meant Eastern. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Y'all know I do everything, like, in a split second. <laughs> Something hits my mind, like, oh, I better start that. I better put a a, a thing up that says I'm going to be doing the live. I got a cat hair in there. What'd you do, JB? You're, like, sleeping in Mommy's cup. I apologize. I did live in Pacific time for quite a long time. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
every time I try to do something good, I always do something to s just mess it up a little bit. <laughs> oh, okay, where am I? Um, wait, where did I get the notice about, hey, we're not Pacific time? Because that's where I am. <laughs> um... Do, 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 do. Hi, Lori Reese. Robin Boyd is here. Judy Helton is here from Michigan. Oh, Scrappy Lady's here. Girl, we ain't seen you in a long time. Uh, is that Marguerite? I think it's Marguerite, but I could be wrong. Please tell me if I'm wrong because um, I hadn't seen you in a while. Tina Manglona is here. Teresa Hewitt is here from the North Georgia Mountains. I apologize if I said that wrong. Um, May Shebe is here. Um... PT is here. Cherry's here. I'm supposed to say Sherry, aren't I? Sorry. Sherry's here. Sh -sh -er Sherry's here. <laughs> you should hear people trying to say my name, girl. Nobody can ever say it. Uh, Meta Bonnell is here. Joe is here. Denise White is here. Donna Forrest is here. Um, I th did I say Donna Forrest already? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I'll just say hi again. Uh, Mary Baldassin is here. Uppity Bobbin is here. That's Miss Lisa. And it just popped down again. Hold up. I'm trying to get everybody. <laughs> makeup is overrated. I, it's not even about that. I mean, I like makeup. I like putting makeup on. But I just was like, just hanging out with my buddies. <laughs> And Angel's in her pajamas. See, we're good. We're all good here. Um, oh, Loretta, you're so sweet. But I do need some makeup if I want to look decent. <laughs> but I think I look fine. I, don't worry. I'm not worried. I just think he's hilarious. He goes, well, you're always putting more makeup on before you go on camera. I'm like, well, maybe the ones that I, like, record for, you know, if I'm doing creative notions and she sent me the box, I want to look decent, you know. Okay. Donna says that she's watching uh, uh, the live and accompanying her kiddo on online learning. <laughs> this sounds fun. <laughs> Nicole Natal is here. Joni Baloney is here. Uh, oh, Miss Pandaland is here. Is that a, that's another Steph, right? Oh, I can't. You know, when you guys don't come like every week, I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying when you don't, I get my head like stops. <laughs> <laughs> um, we have Wanda909 is here. I don't think I've seen your name before. Hello. Welcome. Regine is here. Um, oh, cool. Barbara got her uh, charm pack. That's the, the um, Alice in Glass with the pattern, right? Um, oh, there's Netta. Netta's here. I know you guys all see her there. Um, I'm going, I'm slowly going down. Hi, Janice. Oh, it's Janice's first time watching. Welcome. I hope you'll stick around. Um, <laughs> I'll tell Jim he needs to put on his makeup. <laughs> Hi, Marsha Turner and Tamara. I'm not going to try to say, okay, Walgmouth. Walgamoth, I'm not sure, but Tamara's here from Missouri. Haven't seen your name here before, so welcome. Hope I said your name at least close to correctly. Um, Karen Cox is here, and Midwest Hockey Mom Minnesota is here. So happy to see you guys. Um, and she says she finally got here on time. You're fine. Everything is fine. Um, Heather's going to be right back. Her dang phone is messed up. <laughs> B. Williams is here. Hi. How you doing? Um, let's see. I'm not going fast enough. I can, I can tell. <laughs> Hi, Allison Johnson. Oh, Gina Myers here from Minnesota. <laughs> Becca says, hi, girlfriend. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, Lindy's here. Hi, Lindy. So happy you're here. Stuart Sinclair is here. Um, oh, it says that this is actually Mandy uh, in Pankenham, Victoria, Australia. I love all my Aussies. Hi. So happy you're here. 
Um, Sylvia P. is here from Florida. Charlene, oh, just popped up. Gosh, dog it. <laughs> um, where am I? Oh, Sylvia P. from Florida. Okay, Charlene Garcia is here. Donnelly Felter is here from Pennsylvania. Oh, goody, it's Marguerite. I knew it was Marguerite, but yeah, I'm just, I'm so nervous that I'm going to get it wrong. Y'all know me. Uh, Rebecca Mendoza is here. And Naka's here. Stampin' Sue is here. Hi, Sue. Um, looking for a replacement for your FabFit Fun Box. Well, I thought that um, I liked the Pop Sugar Box a lot better than the FabFit Fun. But I have to say that, you know, I think after a while, you just kind of get... It just, it just starts feeling like everybody's got the same stuff in it. I'm not sure. So you might just need to take a break from it, you know, or go and try Pop Sugar and see if you like that one. I always liked Pop Sugar better than Fat Fit Fun. I don't know why. Fat Fit Fun always felt to me like it was probably geared more towards younger girls. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. It's just I preferred other types of things. And so then when I went to Pop Sugar, I just kind of liked more of what they put inside. So maybe that's a suggestion. Um, let's see. Oh, Vicky's here from Sewing Adventures in Australia. Steph's here from Stephanie Stitches. Janice Casey's here. Janice Casey. Did I say that right? In my head, I think it sounded like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't even, guys. I can't even. Um, let's see. Tamla's here. Hi, Tamla. Glennis is here. Karen Grant is here. Sandy wants to know where she could buy a charm pack. Uh, a charm pack of what? <laughs> I have an Etsy shop. You can go and check out what I have there. Um, and I might be putting a little bit... You guys have started getting my Fleur in. Um, and Fleur is a, a fabric collection by Sadiq Eimer. And she, um, her company is Down Grapevine Lane. And it is so super cute, guys. Like, so super cute. Um, I got one box in, no, I got two boxes in now and I'm still waiting for at least one more. And I think that like one of the packing slips said that they had, you know, my, some fat quarter bundles in it and there were no fat quarter bundles in there. So I have no idea. So I sent them an email and I'm like, uh, <laughs> kind of need those fat quarter bundles guys. <laughs> And the thing is, is they're all, they're all, it's all discontinued now. So if you have not purchased it already, um, not in a local quilt shop for us guys who are buying it wholesale, um, if you didn't already buy it, you can't get it. They have some bolts that are available, but other than that, there's like, or I think you can get, um, jelly rolls and you can get layer cakes, but that's about it. Everything's gone. Um, okay, off of that for a minute, um, Sandy, hopefully I'm going to get down as quickly as I can. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I don't know if you're looking for something in particular. So, uh, let's see. Julie Anstis is here. I haven't seen your name before. Hi, Ju Julie. So happy that you're here. Um, share pickle is that how you say your name or do you say sherry i don't know there's everybody has such a different spelling anymore i don't want to say it wrong um very pretty name hi i'm glad you're here uh, we have mary ellen tanner vincent from rock hill south carolina linda sikorsky's here from florida and the thing just popped down again do, 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 do. okay i might have missed some stuff guys Uh, I'll be honest, you guys, I don't know anything about Bombay and Cedar. I do know that, uh, my bestie over at Georgia Sunshine, she opens it. So you might want to go and see, um, if you want to check out what's usually inside, you go check that out over on her channel. 
Um, oh, oh, oh. oh, Kay is here. Purple wall. Hi, Kay. Um, I'm, I'm trying to catch people that I missed. Suzanne Miller is here. Oh, thank you. You like that? That was a new color in my shop. So I, got, I said, oh, okay, cool. Oh, I'm glad you like the poplar presser. Yes, I, I I had Jim make one for me like years ago. And well, you've seen mine. Mine's like very tan. I use it all the time. And um, and I just, I love it. And then I we started making them to sell in the shop. And then when all of this started happening, I said to him, I was like, how would you feel about making like a lot of sticks? <laughs> He's a good sport. <laughs> Um, okay, it keeps popping forward. So if I missed you, please let me know. Um, let's see. Becca, you took your message back. I don't like when y'all do that. Did you give so yeah all your money? She better not be doing that. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> Angela Ripperger. Am I saying that right? Angela Ripperger. Um, will I be doing the Halloween mystery quilt from Fort Worth Fabric Studio? <sighs> you guys, it's kind of up in the air. And it's, um, it's absolutely nothing about, um, Fort Worth Fabric Studio or anything like that. It's, you know, it, going forward, I'm, I'm trying really hard to make bi good business decisions because <laughs> I, I know this sounds really bad. And the thing is, we all know money makes the world go round and I can't keep saying that I'm working so hard to achieve a goal and then I keep doing everything for free for everybody. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm going to have a talk with them. We're going to kind of see, um, y'all know I can't get myself to a point where I can quit my day job and do this full time, then I'll never be able to. I'll never be able to get there. Um, and what'll happen is I will make a commitment to certain projects and then it'll end up taking away from all of the plans that I've been making for my membership. Um, you know, and I'm, you know, there's all these things that I want to do, but there's, you know, there's so little time in the day for me and I don't know. So that's the, 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 sh the short answer is, I don't know. I want to do everything. You guys know, I want to do everything. <laughs> um, but I know that she's got lots of, um, she's got lots of quilters who want to do it as well. Um, so there will not, never be a shortage of people doing these, you know, doing the sew alongs for Fort Worth Fabric Studio. So, um, the answer is I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's Sherry. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to remember that. Sherry Pickle. Um Oh. Okay. Nina, I didn't know you were having like chemo or anything like that. Oh my goodness. We you know, I need to like talk to you or Sierra or something. Hi, Carmen Irwin from Texas. Um <laughs> Team Skip Bow Clue is taking a trip before it comes to you. Oh, hi, Kim and Raya. Hi, Kim and Raya. Jellybean was up here, like, laying down, and then he left, so. Oh, my goodness. You're starting kindergarten on the 14th? Oh, my goodness. You must be so excited. That's so cool. Cheryl Yancey is here from Indiana. Um, yes. Okay, Sandy, there are charm packs, but a charm pack, basically when you say charm pack, that means that it is five inch squares. So charm packs come in a lot of different fabrics. So, um, you would need to decide what collection you want and then find out where the charm packs are. Um, it's possible I could have possible not not sure <laughs> um you'd need to 
choose like a fabric collection um, and then you look for five inch squares and yes they are called charm packs um don denny is here debbie evans is here thanks donna robbins saying i look good that's nice um linda uses her stick all the time so happy Addy cat's here she's busy stitching in the ditch or near the ditch <laughs> goals <laughs> Jennifer says she was able to snag a Creative Notions bag. Awesome. Um, oh, my goodness, Angela. It's so funny because the number kept going up, right? Because, like, whenever um, when we decided to, um, when Vicky said that I could curate her box for August, um, I don't remember how many subscribers she had at the time. I mean, she built up subscribers like really fast. I want to say she was at like 600 at that time. And so it just kept going up and going up. And I was like, okay, so we're thinking we might need like 700. And he's like, oh. And then it was 800. And then it was 1,000. And then Vicky's like, go ahead and just make it 1,200. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> and Jim's like, I'm sorry, how many? <laughs> <laughs> Are we freezing it at 1200? What would you? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. I'm the first one to get it right first go round. I'm so happy, Angela. That's like a miracle. Um. Oh my goodness. My chat's not working. Hold up, guys. Um, you guys are fine, and you'll still see me. I just can't see the chat. Let's see. Let's try this guy. Um, they haven't announced the Halloween one yet, but I was told that they were going to have a Halloween one. So I'm not really sure. Nothing has been announced yet. I guess, you know, it could have been um, anything at, at that point. You know, at this point, if they... Because they did the move and everything. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, okay, so why is it not... Talk, let him talk. Okay, hold on. I'm going to try to restart my chat. <laughs> okay. Chat. Popping it out. Popping out the chat. For some reason, I am getting an ad with, like, a half-naked woman. I don't get it. How do they come up with what ads they're going to show you? <laughs> okay. Let me go back here. Ooh, Becca got to hide somebody. <laughs> um, oh, my goodness. I missed, like, a whole bunch from my thing being down. Okay, hold on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um... I do try to make sure I'm catching everybody's messages. Um, so it looks like Becca was already answering Sandy. So Sandy, anything Becca says is probably true. <laughs> um, oh, Kim Burris is here. Ruby Lopez. I don't think I've seen Ruby here before. Hi, Ruby. Um, okay. Steffi's, Stephanie's on her little bitty phone. That's funny. Oh, well, okay. So, Roxana, I might be, you know, eventually coming out with patterns. Um, but I don't really have plans for a fabric line. At least not at this point. Um, I mean, I never say never to anything. But um, I definitely think that patterns will come up first. Um, and those will probably start out, like, in my membership. And then make their way over to um, to my Etsy shop in case anybody wants them. Um, I have plans for, you know, doing patterns and maybe some kits. But this will all have to be in the future. I just don't have the time for it right now. So, um, but, but it's, definitely, um, it's definitely what I want to do. Lisa sewed today. She's trying to make everybody jellyfish. I certainly did not have a chance to sew today for sure. 
so Joni Baloney, as far as I know, they were going to be doing a Halloween quilt. Fort Worth Fabric Studio was going to be doing a Halloween quilt. Because when she told me she was coming out with a fall one, I said, oh, you're not doing a Halloween one? And she was like, oh, yeah, we're going to do a Halloween one. So, I listen, I don't know. I haven't heard anything lately. So, not really sure. But I was told long time ago that they were. So, um, let's see. Oh, Pamela, Pamela's here. Pamela Colburn's here. Um, Renee Riley is here. NJ is here, Carol Baldwin, because I don't remember saying hi to you, so I don't know if when you came in. Uh, Karen Rabus is here from Florida. Oh, good. Kim Burris got to sew today. So happy. I'm happy when I hear other people got to sew, even though I really wish it were me. Hi, Karen Dove. Uh, Karen Dove is from Bernie, California. Teresa Louise is here. Hey, Teresa Louise. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Netta says that the oncologist came in, told her about the plan that Sierra and her sister had agreed on. Okay. Yeah, I'll send a message to Sierra. I know she's trying to keep up with, you know, letting all of us know. So I don't want to put a whole lot of pressure on her. I've been trying to kind of just wait and, you know, let her message me when she had a time, you know, a moment because, oh my goodness, those poor girls. I, you know, I know, you know, um, they love you so much. <laughs> they do. Um, and they should, you're their mom. Uh, Wooly Girl is here. Miss Pam Miller. And let's see. You thought I should have put the year on the stick? Oops. I, I never would have even thought to do that, to be honest. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll have to tell Jim. I've been telling him. I told him, I was like, you need to go and... Cause he doesn't watch my videos. He doesn't sew or anything. And I was like, you don't need to watch the video. I said, but you need to go and just check out all the really nice things everybody's saying to you. Um, just so that you know everybody appreciates it. I, you know, he's a dude. <laughs> um, okay. I think I saw somebody come in and say... Y'all are so crazy. Oh, Catherine Jolson's here. Catherine, did you ever get my package of chocolate? Girl, I was getting notifications that that thing was all over the place. Like, it it went to, like, Ireland or something. It, like, went to the UK. It, then it was, like, coming back. I have no idea. It was all over. So, I have no idea if you ever got that chocolate or if somebody else ate it. I... I have no, I never ended up getting anything that said that you actually got it. <laughs> so I have no idea. Uh, um, uh, let's see. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's me. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, hi, Gail Spears. Gail is from Naples, Florida. So happy you're here. Um, <laughs> I knew you meant paint. Uh, yes, we are all, okay. I think I'm catching everyone. <laughs> okay. So Kay says, I'm sewing Saturday, no matter what. <laughs> Oh, Netta, that, I am so sorry that you can't, that, oh, I just, I think it's ridiculous. It's just my opinion. It's okay. I, I just, that, it just upsets me. Anyway, um, <laughs> hi, Sharon Parson. Um, oh, Callie Girl's here, Miss Gia Genero. No, Jim does not drink, Star Jim doesn't drink coffee. Like, if we go to, like, 
and this is this is why he doesn't drink coffee. Are you ready? He'll drink coffee in a diner. No wonder he thinks he doesn't like coffee. Who the heck likes that coffee? Don't everybody go go at once. I know y'all gonna like get me. <laughs> oh, it, it upsets me that like Netta's in the hospital and because of the floor she's on and everything going on, she can't have visitors because of the whole COVID-19 thing. And so she's basically like by herself. And um, like, and there's been other things, like other people that I've been um, talking to who've had like their, I mean, not, not, not that we don't understand. They're like elderly parents are, you know, ha are sick and then they pass and they have to die by themselves in a room because of COVID-19. Like their family can't go up and be with them. And to, it just breaks my heart. And I just, all of that kind of stuff. I mean, poor Netta, she's in the hospital. She's trying to recover and, you know, she'd love to see her family and she can't. I, I don't know. It's just me. I, I'm just saying I feel for everyone. I just do. I, I just, yeah. Uh, Karen, I sell the pressing sticks in my shop if you'd like to get one. Um, you got it yesterday? Oh my goodness. I mailed it like a month or two ago. I mean, I mailed it like a long time ago. And it's melted. I'm upset now. <laughs> Wouldn't have melted if they would have just shipped it normal like regular people what's wrong with those people um oh okay wait <laughs> pamela says i'm trying so hard to listen to you but my daughter is learning to swear in french <laughs> she had a rough day teaching second grade <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> oh my goodness uh, oh, Dora Seal is here from Bama. Is that Alabama? I, I'm just assuming. Probably shouldn't. <laughs> um, hi, Tracy Hartig. I'm happy you're here. Hope you'll come back. Um, and Bray Beast 444 says hi. Hi. I don't think I've ever seen you here before either. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. Okay. Lindy hasn't been sewing. Oh my goodness. Oh, see, Karen Rabus, I, I, my heart goes out to you. I am so sorry. I just think it's horrible. Yes. Oh, Carlene gave me 10 bucks. Is Natalie still here? She's going to flip out. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in her face, you get, in your face, you get sprung. Want to pull up tough because you notice that butt was stuffed. Deep in the jeans she's wearing. I'm hooked and I can't stop staring. Oh, baby, I want to get with ya and take your picture. My homeboy's trying to warm me, but that butt you got make me so horny. Thank you, Carlene. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, okay, Morning Dove says, We had so much rain here in North Florida, it drove fire ants up my front porch and into my brick mailbox. My so creative box was full of fire ants one hour after delivery. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Oh, Nita, I did see that Netta gave you the pressing stick. I saw that in your pictures. Um, hi, Deanna. Deanna Cunningham is here. Diane Schwalm is here. She says her elderly mother is in a nursing home. She's not been able to see her since the middle of March. Oh, my goodness. I am so sorry, Diane. Okay. Bray Beast. I hope I'm saying this right. Bray Beast 444 wants to know if I'm cool. Yes, I am. I am cool. <laughs> 
Um, where are we? The ants wanted the candy. Yeah, I don't blame them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but oh gosh. Oh my goodness, Deanna, you want me to sing Push It? I don't know if I can sing Push It. I mean, I'll be honest. The only thing I know is, ah, push it. Push it real good. <laughs> That's all I know. I don't... <laughs> and look, Natalie is going crazy down there. She's like, no. <laughs> oh. um, you know, I think that this has turned into like this love-hate relationship that Natalie and I have. <laughs> Uh, DECP Patty C says, hit the like button. Yeah. <laughs> hit the like button. <laughs> uh, I know. Bray Beast wants to know what I do. This is it. It's what I do. <laughs> I quilt. I'm a quilter. And I open quilty boxes and other boxes. Um... <laughs> Deanna, did that satisfy? Because I don't, you know, I'd be happy to sing, like, Happy Birthday. I know that song. I don't really know that. <laughs> Natalie, you're so funny. Uh, oh, Joni Baloney, are you going to get a Piecing It Real uh, t-shirt? I think they came out cute. I really like them. I ordered one so that I could see what it's like. So I'm waiting for it to come in so that I can um, see it. Oh, Teresa McBrayer's here. Hi, Teresa. I'm so happy you're here. <laughs> Hold on. Deanna says that's good. <laughs> um, that's funny. <laughs> awesome. Dora Seal wants to know how or why did I start my channel? Um, well, how? I just started doing it. I was like, <laughs> I just like sat in the, um, in my kitchen, turned on the camera and started opening boxes. I mean, that's basically what I, that's how I did it. Um, and why did I do it? I, um, I just... This is going to sound like way more pathetic than it really is. But at the time, I didn't really, I didn't really have any friends here because we had left. We moved to Sydney, Australia for three years. And when I came back, um, my friends had sort of moved on, sort of. I mean, like, you know, three years had passed and some of them had kids and, you know, um, are basically had like moved further away and um, lots of things like that. So I just, um, I needed to find friends. And I didn't really have any quilty friends, um, like nobody that I knew around here at the time quilted. And so I thought, well, this would be really great because I can, you know, make friends on YouTube. <laughs> and it took a long time, but it was very satisfying. And, um, I love YouTube. I love being on YouTube. Um, I just love making friends and you guys are all my friends. I love you guys so much. You guys know that. Um, so yeah, it's awesome. Um, oh, Debbie, you'll have to go. I think I see, um, Becca posting the options. Thank you, Becca. Becca's, she's so sweet. Um, because I don't, I don't keep them like inventory. I have kind of ordered them through a shop that what they'll do is as you order it, they will make it. That way I don't have to keep a whole bunch of uh, things in stock and then that way they have all the sizes and, and a lot of colors and stuff like that so um it's just it's a whole lot better for y'all and for me so um you can go and check them out 
And as soon as I do get my shirt in, I will, you know, show you guys. I'll put it on and show you guys. Because uh, I want to see what it's like, too. I didn't want to just put them out there and then I don't really know what kind of quality y'all are getting or anything. Um, so I should get it soon. And I'll let y'all know. Um, okay. <laughs> Natalie says, I've been here from the start. You didn't sing. I didn't sing in the beginning because, you know, YouTube has become for me like a comfy sweater, you know, or like a nice a pair of jeans that you've had for like years, right? So like you first get them and it's different, like, you know, they're kind of, you know, whatever. But then it's like after the longest time you've had them like forever and you've really kind of worn them in and now you're just, you'll do anything in those jeans, right? You do everything in those jeans. That's kind of where I am now. Like, um, I was definitely more, I didn't like show off my true whole self in the beginning. I mean, you know, you're kind of like nervous about how people are going to accept you and stuff like that. So, um, and now, I just don't, well, I guess part of me doesn't care. And, uh, <laughs> and I just like, you know, hanging with you guys and I'll, I'll do whatever y'all want. I'll try. I mean, I'll try to sing, uh, push it. I will, but I don't really know all the words. I, and push it came out probably when I was, um, a junior in high school. I want to say maybe. I'm trying to remember when I remember my mom singing it because my mom would sing it, <laughs> which was always a lot of fun. My mom was a fun mom. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Brave Beast says, um, Brave Beast, are you like male or female? You might have been saying all this already. I just want to um, get to know you a little bit. You say you're a gamer. And I know I saw um, Becca asking you some questions about games and consults. She'll know more of all that stuff. She's got a little um, a daughter who does all of that. Um, Alicia wants to grow up and be like me. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm real. <laughs> <laughs> um are you are you talking about this my boo-boo that was I mean honestly jelly bean scratched me but it was like it was probably like a couple of weeks ago or a month ago it was a while back but my problem is that like I I like pick at stuff. If I get a zit, that's it. I'm picking at it. I, I'm not one of those people who's all like don't touch it forget that I'm just gonna <laughs> But do everything to that thing. Um, and so I finally decided that if I want this thing to heal, um, I now clean it every morning. I put a Neosporin and a Band-Aid. And I'm just going to keep doing that until it heals. <laughs> because if I don't cover it, I'm going to keep messing with it. <laughs> so I'm going to stop. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm still trying to... Oh, Fortnite. What is that? I know that Fortnite is two weeks, but is that a game? Call of Duty? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm missing some of what y'all are saying. I'll go back and read it later because <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss everything. Okay. Oh, Lori's here. Hi, Lori. Periscandolo. Parascandolo. I, I know I said it right at least one time. <laughs> um, oh, cool. I'm glad that you guys like the shirts. Y'all, if, if ever I put something like that in the shop and you don't like it for some reason, please tell me. Just tell me. I'm cool with it. I, I'd rather that I put something out there that you guys really like than just put it out there and everybody's going, wow, that really sucks. I don't really want to ever wear that. Why would I want to put that on my body? <laughs> I would so rather that you just tell me and I could redo it. I mean, that's, it's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> okay, he's a male. Awesome. That's good to know. 
Let's see. 26 Spadia. Danelle from Colorado. Hi, Danelle. How are you? Um, Push It came out in 87 or 88. See, that makes sense because I graduated in 90. So maybe I was a sophomore. Okay, awesome. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, Donna is asking about uh, about quilting. Whew. Yeah, I send mine out. Thank goodness. Um, I'm just curious, uh, Bray Beast four four four. Would you tell us like your name and how old you are? I would love to know. I just, the people who come and like actually sit and talk with us and, you know, I would love to hear more about you. Like, how did you find me? You just kind of saw my live and decided to come on and see what we were talking about or, um, I'd love to know. Uh, let's see. Fortnite is a video game popular with kids now. Okay, cool. I don't have kids either, so I wouldn't know all any of these things. Although I do have lots of nieces and nephews. So these things are all very good to know. <laughs> Laura from Jersey's here. Hi, Laura. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to say anything. Okay, so Robin is working on her cotton cuts. Um, let's see. Wendy Huber's here. Did I say hi to you, Wendy? I don't remember seeing your name, so maybe I'm just now saying it. Um, <laughs> let's see. Crown Royal Masks. She's sick of purple. <laughs> Um, oh, he plays games and he does art. Okay. Hi, Joyce from Washington, D.C. We could talk about something else, Natalie. What do you want to talk about? I'd be happy to talk to you about anything. Um, you just let us know. I'm there. Let's see. Where else are we? Do, 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 do. Oh, Gia, how do you get your mojo back? <sighs> that's a tough one. It's, you know, it's, it's funny because like, I think, um, cause I had like probably a good three, four year period. I want to say where I kind of lost my mojo too. I think part of mine was, you know, we had moved and there was like, um, there was, like everything was a lot smaller like in Australia you know you like the apartments are smaller houses are small everything's smaller and they think we're crazy and maybe we are but this is what we're used to you know so we sold like gosh we felt like we sold like half our stuff okay <laughs> we got over there and I remember when the guys um you know it goes overseas and then they load it on a truck and they bring it to you so the guys who were like unloading the truck he, he comes in the apartment and he goes you gonna put all that stuff in here <laughs> <laughs> so there was like a huge lack of space there was like all of this kind of stuff and you try to figure out like um you know, how am I going to get it back? I really want to sew, but then I have to like move all of this and put it. So it was just, I don't know. And people can give you like good ideas. You want us to call you Bray. Okay. We can do that. Um, and I don't know that anybody can really answer that for you. You know what I mean? Like you can go and read what other people did, have conversations with people, um, about, you know, what they did, but it may not work for you. You know, like it might not be something that, you know, get a she shed. <laughs> um, 
so yeah that's a tough one that's really a tough one i'm sorry you're feeling that way gia it's not fun it's really not um oh netta went to bed night netta um what kind of art do you do bray I don't understand the pool no pool noodle method, but that's okay. I'm not going to be quilting, so don't worry. You don't have to explain. <laughs> oh, somebody else asked him what type of art. Cool. And Nita's a good person to talk to. Nita is an artist. Um, oh, wow. Dora's got 10 quilts to be quilted. Um... Yep, quilting is fabric art. You are right by that. La di da da. La di da da. I think I missed some some messages. That's okay. I I probably missed some stuff. Uh oh, Jewel says that the shirts are cute. I'm glad you like it. There's two different kinds. Um, there's definitely one that I like better than the other, but I like them both actually. So I ordered one. I'll probably order the other one next as soon as I get the one in. Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. Lisa Marie crafting. Oh, Ariadne39 is here from New Zealand. Hello, sweetie pie. Any kind of art. Okay. Carol's getting around to making baby stuff because she found out that her niece is having a baby. Congratulations. Um, ooh, you got a really bad infection from a cat bite, Lisa? Holy cow. I promise that's not what's going on here. This was just Yvette's been picking at it. I promise. That's all it is. There's nothing infected about it or anything like that. It's just I know if I don't cover it, I'm going to keep picking at it because <laughs> that's just what I do. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, Kate Fayemi. Am I saying that right? Kate Fayemi from Houston. Hi. Um. Oh, my goodness. Nita has 17 quilt tops. Holy cow. <laughs> Sarah's sewing her first quilt together, and she's about halfway through. Awesome. Oh, Joni Baloney's leaving. Bye, Joni. Um, what time is it? Okay, so 9.23. You guys, I have, like, a boxy charm that I just got. Bray, this is a girly thing, I know. But I thought I would show you guys what I got. Let's check it out. I'm excited. Y'all know about me and skincare and makeup. I, um... Oh, before I do that, though, did y'all see my message about um, that the Fleur came in? Let me, I have a whole bunch of bolts. I've got like 10 bolts that I got, but let me just show you the Fat Quarter Bundle. Mm -hmm. Y'all, look how pretty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So those of you guys who like pre-ordered with me, I'm going to be putting these orders together real soon. I got the first box last night and um, they still have more that's coming. So I'm all excited. It's really pretty. Um, okay, boxy charm. You have Gucci. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Gucci what? There's a lot of Gucci stuff. Um, yes, Stephanie, I know that you want some, so I will let you know if I have anything left over, because everything was pre-ordered. Um, I know that there will definitely be yardage left over, and I will be putting stuff in the shop, like whatever, um, did not, was not sold in the pre-sale, I will put in the shop, um, because, you know, I mean, you, you, when you want yardage, you have to buy the whole bolt and, you know, stuff like that, so I will have some, and... We will, um, oh, Donna Findlay is here. 
Am I saying that right, sweetheart? Um, oh, Gucci pants and shoes. Awesome. Um, I share the wealth, beginner's needle. I do. I anything that it's if it's something that's not like my cup of tea, I will bring it to all my friends at Starbucks or at work if I feel like they deserve it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing is thank me later. It's an eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. I have not heard of that. I am excited. An eyeshadow primer. I have used some eyeshadow primer before, but mine was, um, I think I used, um, I don't remember now. Okay, so look, it's a nice little full-size tube, and this retails for, do, 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 do. This retails for 20 bucks. And this is really good because if you if you wear a lot of eyeshadow, like if you do that like an, on a daily thing or whatever, if you use a primer, it just helps to keep your eyeshadow looking good longer. That's really what it's for. And then it also makes your eye, your eyeshadow go on like nice and smooth. I love primers. They're really great. This is a Velvet Lip Perfector by Clarins. And this retails for $26. And let's see, is it, is it a color? I don't think so. Hold up. Oh, a nourishing shea butter. Well, I'm keeping this. I can, oh, and look, it's got a little fuzzy tip. How's that work? Oh. Oh, oh, it is a color. That's pretty. Actually, I really like that color. It is a color. I love the tip, too. It feels really nice. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this says, Clarins best-selling natural lip perfectors go bold with a new matte finish. I love matte. A liquid lipstick with a weightless mousse texture. Yes, it is. It's very nice. That delivers a highly pigmented velvety finish with soft blur effect. Formulated with conditioning and nourishing shea butter, leaving lips feeling hydrated for hours. Okay. I love this. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to have to go and see, like, what colors they have. What color is this? I can't even see a color on there anywhere. Unless it's this, no, that can't be it. <laughs> I hope not. I, I don't know. There's like this French word, Nouilly Cercine. Dude, I have no idea. I don't know. Does it say on the box? I should be looking on the box. Of course, it should be on here because I don't. Nobody keeps the box. And, of course, they're having a blind person look at this. I don't see it there. Oh, it's number 03, Velvet Red. See, it says it right there. So, if you're interested, it's nice. Velvet Red. And it's not like Red Red. It's like, I think it's nice. Oh, my goodness. I'm loving this. Okay, this is awesome. Um... I think people are saying hi. Thanks, Becca. Hi, Lisa Peg. Am I missing anyone else? What does it smell like? There's no taste, which I love. Let me see. I don't really notice that there's any type of smell that's like, you know, bringing it to my attention. If anything... Maybe a slight coconutty sort of smell, but really nothing. I mean, I, I'm like putting my nose right in it and, you know, still have to concentrate a lot. So it's not a huge smelly thing. All right. This is 
Active Glow Tinted Day Cream by QMS M Medi Cosmetics. Ooh. Well, I want to try that. Oh, I turned it over. This is... Oh, my goodness. This retails at $105. Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. Okay, let's see what this looks like. It's a little pump like that. Does it say what the flavor is? Or like what the... It says it's an adaptive cream with a light tint. Well, nothing's coming out of there. Oh, there it is. Okay. So... This is what it looks like when it comes out. Notice all of the she's an old person dots on my hand. And now let's see what this looks like. Oh. It does blend in really good. And it's a what? Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. I'm going to try this tomorrow. So there you go. That's what it looks like. It just gives like a nice, there's a nice little glow. Nothing crazy. And that's saying something because I am very fair skinned. Um, so the fact that it started out looking kind of dark and then kind of went in like that, that actually looks pretty natural. I'm going to try it tomorrow. I'm going to try putting it on and see. Okay. The next thing, there is uh, a... Nude Beach Eyeshadow Palette by Cargo Cosmetics. And there's the packaging. And it just lifts up. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to have to clean it up a little bit. Holy cow. Who would wear that? Okay, well, somebody must wear that. I, this is, like, really dark. This just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's really not bad. It's not like it's going all over the place, so... Um, probably just in shipping. Although they do a really good job of shipping here. I just need to clean it up a little bit. But that's pretty cool. I mean, you know, I wouldn't use those really dark ones, but that's not bad. I don't use that kind of eyeshadow, but I know lots of people who do. Okay, and then the last thing... Oh, wait, that um, eyeshadow palette is... It retails for $39.99. And, okay, so this is um, Mini Matte Lip Crayon Set. It's a matte for every mood by Tristique. And here are the colors on the back, at least according to the packaging. And I think it's really funny how it, it just opens like a little crayon set. I love their packaging because watch, I'll pull one of them out. I love how, and they do this with like all their stuff. As far as I remember, um, you know, it'll have like the tip that'll kind of give you an idea of what the color is. Um, and then when you open it, I don't want to like pop it really hard. Um, then it's just like this. And even their mini ones, you get quite a bit in here. Um, see? You get quite a bit of product in there. So, um, I like their stuff, actually. Wow, I am going to be all set for lip product. I'm telling you what. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Cool. The Trustique retails for... Wow, this is $58. <laughs> retails for $58. Um, oh, and it's buildable. Okay, so you can start out like really um, with just a light little coverage. Or if you keep putting more, it'll get uh, darker. Okay. That's everything in my boxy charm. I hope everybody liked that. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Oh, I think recycling goes out tomorrow, so I got to go put that out. Okay. Let me see. I don't think Jim would be jealous of anything anymore, to be honest. Um, okay. I missed a lot of stuff. 
<laughs> um, okay. Okay, I think this is where I was. Um, Kay, I know you didn't... Pre See, what, what I did is <laughs> I took all the pre-orders in my membership because, I mean, I'll be honest with you guys... I don't mind doing it every once in a while for the people like in my membership or um, maybe occasionally I would put it out there to the Jelly Beanies, although the Jelly Beanies is quite a large group now. So I don't have a whole lot of time. So I don't mind doing it every once in a while. And everybody was saying so about how they loved it so much. And I did too. I thought it was beautiful. It's so pretty. Um, and so I just kind of said okay, you know, who wants to pre-order? If I can really get some pre-orders, then I'll go ahead and, and order it, you know. Um, so actually we did, we had a pretty good order. And um, and so anyway, but you have to get things like in certain bundles. So I know I will have um, some leftover. I mean, it's probably not going to be a huge amount. Um, so within the next week or so, I'll probably put it up. So you'll have to go and check that out. Um, a beginner's needle is Tina. Hi, Tina. Nice to meet you, sweetie pie. Um, Natalie just saw the Insta post. Yeah, I did post it there. I was just so excited about the, um, about it. And, oh, we have Antonio Manuel Cruz Vega, who says, Buenas noches. Good evening to you, too. I think that's what that means. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, it does sort of match my nails a little bit. It's not bad. I love the color. I think it's really great. It's actually not like, because like red, I, I don't really do re really well with it. Um, it's too, I don't know. I know this is crazy coming from me, but it's a little too bright. <laughs> I like like this kind of color or like even deep plums. I really like too. Um, okay, let's see. You just bought lipstick, not thinking about wearing a mask and no one sees it. Well, you're not, but you don't wear a mask like 24 seven, you know? So somebody will see it. You'll see it. Um, <laughs> uh. Yeah. <laughs> Angela, you're right. I can tell him I put my makeup on. I even put some makeup on my hand. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so funny. You guys are so funny. Um okay. See, like I feel like Bray is my new best friend. <laughs> Uh, okay, I see someone named Jay Sims, and Jay Sims says that they hardly leave the house anymore. Uh, is that because of COVID? You're like, just staying home? It does kind of suck a little bit. Um, I will, I have been thanking Jim for the pressing stick. Um, yeah, he made 1,200 poplar pressers. He did. Um, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Do, 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 do. Better make you look 20 years younger for that price. Yeah, I know. But you know, it's, it's really, it's interesting. This is just how I feel. Like there are some things that I will buy drugstore and think that they're okay. But I'll be honest with you, most of the time, like, I I actually do prefer the ones that cost more. I mean, it, and it's like because I feel like they use better ingredients. Um, and I sometimes have, like, skin issues anyway. So I'd rather, like, spend a little extra money. Um, and I just make sure, you know, that I try to make things last as long as I can. But, um... Donna Richie's here. Hi, Donna. Better put itself on your face while you sleep. <laughs> Hi, Pammy Sue. Pammy Sue is here. Um, 
Tammy Davidson. Did I say hi? I don't. I don't remember seeing your name before now. Um, do 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 do. Oh, you've been pinning a baby quilt and listening. Okay, that's why I didn't see you earlier. Let's see. Uh, Shelly, the name... Oh, look, Stephanie told you. Fleur. Fleur is the name of the fabric. Um, Pamela wears makeup one day a year. Pamela, I've seen you. You look gorgeous without makeup. Seriously, you don't. you really don't need it. I have, like... I really do have, like, a skin issue over here. And it doesn't bother me that much. Like, I'll, I will go outside with it. Um, but I just prefer to have makeup on. I don't know. Um, I love makeup, actually. Not all makeup, but like, I don't know. I just do. I love makeup. Let's see. Where are we at? How long did it take Jim to make one pressing tool? Well, he didn't make them like one at a time. So, um... Uh, Karen, I will post to Australia, of course. I don't know how much it would cost, though. I mean, you know, I know it's expensive. Check if Kathleen Champ is blocked. Okay, hold on. Let me go look. Kathleen Champ. Oops. Um, yes, Kathleen Champ is blocked. Should she not be blocked? Okay, I'll unblock uh, Kathleen Champ. No worries. Sorry about that, Kathleen. That could have happened accidentally. Um, but I have you there. I've saved it. So you should be good now. I don't know if it'll take effect right away because um, it doesn't usually happen. Um, let's see. Okay, pop my chat out again. Okay, cool. We got you all taken care of, Kathleen. Hopefully you'll be able to um, start chatting. Kathleen should leave and come back in. Okay, try doing that, Kathleen, where you leave um, the live and then come back and hopefully that'll work. Oh, look, she left a message, so yay. Not sure what happened, but anytime like that, just please feel free to ask because, um, I mean, you know, we're all human. It could have been done accidentally somehow. I don't know how, but you're cool. You're cool. Um, night, Lisa. Lisa's going. Oh, Laurie's going. Good night, Laurie. Um, let's see. I should probably go. Okay, you got... I put the box of the boxy charm box on the floor over there, like to take out for recycling. Well, I say I put it, I threw it. <laughs> Jelly bean is sitting right on top of it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jamie, you just got here. We're about to leave, honey bun. You missed everything. Oh my goodness. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, Kathleen's all like, now she's all chatty. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, look, Pam's here, tomboy. Nita just received a 53-pound box of donated fabric. Oh, my goodness. Um, okay, guys, seriously, I have a lot of work to do. I really do. I've just seen, like, a bunch of orders come in. I hope it's just for T-shirts. <laughs> Because that means they're going to be taking care of that one. <laughs> um, and so I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for coming. I love all you guys. And um, don't, oh wait. 
I hate I don't get you in my email anymore. I know. I don't know if you guys heard, but like uh, YouTube decided that they were going to stop sending notification emails whenever um, we have a new a new video. It used to be like if you rang the bell, you would get an email notification and they decided they were going to stop doing that because people weren't opening the emails. And I mean, the thing is, when it comes up and the email says, the Yvette Renee has a new video, you don't need to open the email. You know they got a new video, so now you can head over to YouTube and go click on it. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. The, the whole thing just seems kind of silly to me, but they're stopping them. Nothing I could do about it, guys. I think you can still turn on your notifications for your desktop if you want to have it pop up on your desktop. Um, it may also uh, work on your phone if you set up notifications for YouTube. Um, but you will not get the emails anymore, apparently. Okay, that's it. I'm leaving. Good night. Mwah. <laughs>